Everybody loves the Sony 20mm f1.8, and I mean really loves it. So when Sigma reached out and asked if I wanted to try out the new 20mm f2, I literally jumped out of my seat in excitement. That's actually a lie, it just sounds better for the story. I actually just said, that sounds lovely, let's do it. So here we are, the first 20 millimeter lens that I think I've ever used. The Sigma 20 mm F2 DG DN for Sony E-mounts. Coming in at 699 US, which is $100 less than the Sony 20 mm F1.8 G lens. So I'd say that's pretty solid competition, shots fired from Sigma. <laughs> Now obviously never using a 20 millimeter lens before, I wondered what I could shoot with 20 mil. So when I was coming up with an idea for this video, that's literally what I did. I just decided to shoot whatever I could with it. Now I also had the regular standard questions that I have when it comes to testing a lens, the same things that you wonder about too. So over the course of the past month or so, I've actually shot a bunch of shorts with this lens, Instagram reels. Having a 20 mil for these is actually pretty nice. I typically wouldn't shoot anything like this when it comes to video with the 16 mil, which is my current widest lens because you will get distortion at the edges and it just kind of looks funny especially for vertical format video but with the 20 really not seeing a lot of that distortion towards the edges it's also nice that it was an f2 opposed to an f4 now when you're shooting wide you're really not expecting a lot of depth of field anyway but 20 mil at f2 there's actually Pretty decent fall off there. Posted a few photos on Instagram and asked people what they thought the focal length was and not a lot of people actually got 20. Most people thought it was 24. So to me, I take that as another example of the distortion on this lens is actually handled quite well. I should probably have mentioned earlier as well that this whole talking head segment right here, whole thing, 20 mil, at F2. Autofocus for video, always something I'm wondering about, as are you. I was gonna test it for photos as well, but let's be honest, there really isn't any autofocus lenses that come out anymore for Sony that are terrible at autofocus when it comes to photos. So I just stuck to video. I mean, with this completely unscientific test, it looks good to me. The autofocus is great for video, it is. It's fast, it's responsive, it's accurate. It's everything I'd expect it to be because it's a Sigma lens. Sigma does everything really well these days. I like doing thumbnails where I hold the product in front of the camera, typically for my one lens films, and turns out 20 mil is actually a pretty great focal length for this as well. Now, of course, I like you want to know, is this lens sharp? So I went and took some pictures of this. Beautiful brick wall. This one's at F2, F4, F8. And upon looking back at these images in Lightroom, it performed pretty much exactly how I expected it to. At f2, it is sharp in the center. These new signal lenses, they're generally pretty sharp across the board. Towards the edges at f2, it's not quite as sharp, but then you get up to f4 and f8, and it gets sharper throughout, even sharper in the middle, and then even sharper at the edges. There's a little bit of vignetting in the middle at f2, but as you go up, it disappears. Vignetting kind of looks like when you have an aura for a migraine, it's like a portal in the middle of your eyes. On a gimbal is where this lens could potentially really shine for you. Now it's gonna be too tight for real estate. I did try uh, before I even hit record, I realized, nope, I gotta to stick to the 16. So for big wide real estate, not so much, but 20 mil for a lot of other things could be pretty useful on a gimbal. If you haven't watched my desk tour video yet, the whole B-roll and that, everything was shot with this lens, in fact. Here's the intro to that to give you a little taster. So a fantastic lens for B-roll, coupled with the fact that the minimum focus distance on this is pretty tiny. 0.22 meters, 0.72 feet, so that's 22 centimeters. For a wide lens like this, that's good. It means you can get real close to the lens and, uh, and still get things in focus. What else is there? Um, breathing. <laughs> No, not that kind of breathing. Focus breathing. It definitely exists. It's there. This is a stills lens. Of course it would. Can it be corrected with the a7 IV with focus breathing compensation? No, because it's not a Sony lens. So that might steer you towards the Sony 20mm f1.8G if, if you need to to use that, but then you kind of have to have the a7 IV or the FX6. In fact, I don't even know if that lens is on that list. Took some photos with it, nothing glamorous, just photos for you to kind of see what's possible with it. It's a wide lens, you know what a wide lens is used for, it's great for landscapes, it's gonna be a great lens for Astro, especially as it's F2. You're not really gonna be using it for portraits, you could, it's a bit of a weird look. 
I'm not going to tell you what you can and can't use this lens for because I don't think there should be restrictions like that. Go and shoot whatever you want with it if you want to. So yeah, it's another in Sigma's series of lenses, the same design as the 24 and the 90, which I recently reviewed. They've taken their cinema design and made these lenses very, very tactile. The focus ring, the aperture ring, and uh, even the lens hood are ribbed. Probably could have used a different word than ribbed, but um, we're gonna go with it. Nice clicky clicky switch on here for the autofocus manual focus. Very clicky in fact, I like that. Made in Japan, which is a good thing. And there is a rubber gasket on the back for your weather seal in there too. It's a good lens, I like it. I haven't shot on 20 before. And when I get something new like that, I tend to shoot a lot of things on it and get excited about it. And I'll probably end up wanting to buy this lens. Autofocus is great, it's sharp enough. Minimum focus distance is great. It's small, it's compact. I would like to see a, a little switch on there for the declicked aperture, but not a huge deal. It's a solid lens, especially at 699. Only other competition is Sony's 20mm f 1.8G. Thank you for watching today. In this very different video to normal, I wanted to try and have a new shot available every like three to five seconds. So that's what we did. And now I've talked too long, this shot's gone on too long. So we're gonna end the video right here.